Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial in our MetaForge series. In this video I will guide you through the most important part of the workflow. We will set up a Blender project for editing MetaHumans, import objects, edit the MetaHuman and export the final results. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future tutorials. Let's get started. The default Blender objects aren't necessary, feel free to delete them. Go to the Add-ons menu, click Setup Scene, specify the paths to the body FBX and the DNA file. If you disable the Build Head from DNA option, you can import the head from the FBX file. This is not recommended, use it only if you're sure it is what you need. Click Import. You will see the loaded objects in Blender, and you can switch between levels of detail. Editing directly on the loaded mesh is challenging due to seams between the head and body and UV seams. That is why MetaReforge creates intermediate edit objects to simplify the process. In the Edit Shape section, we have option Keep Shape Case for Edit Objects. Disable it if you don't plan to adjust corrective shape case later. If you disable this, the original corrective shape case will still be available on the lowest load, but you will not be able to edit them on the intermediate edit objects. Also, keep in mind that Blender can slow down when sculpting meshes with many shape case. Click uh, Initialize to create the intermediate edit objects. The add-on will generate objects for editing and, um, and a few for internal use. Before you start editing, ensure the head and body merge correctly. Click Validate Edges. If any invalid edges are found, slightly decrease the well distance, reinitialize and validate again. Once the setup is complete, it's time to edit the final meshes. You can edit directly in Blender or use external tools like ZBrush, Wrap, etc. Let me show you a few tips regarding using external editors. The main mesh, Skin Final, can be exported as an OBJ file. Make sure to select only this object. Export OBJ. Select it only and export. When working in external applications, do not change the topology or vertex order. After processing the mesh externally, import it back into Blender. Often after import, object has unapplied transforms. Ctrl A and apply all. Use the transfer basis coordinates. Select Imported Object, then select the original, MetaReforge, Extras. This tool updates the vertex coordinates without affecting other attributes like bone weights, bone color, etc. So, so it transfers vertex positions from selected object to active object. Now let's talk a bit about editing directly in Blender. I recommend to hide everything except skin, teeth and eyeballs. We will take care about those meshes later at the end. And uh, regarding sculpting, some brushes like the Grab tool work smoothly enough, while tools like Draw Brush or Relax Brush can become slow and laggy due to the large number of shape case. This isn't a bug with MetaReforge, it's just a Blender limitation when working with meshes containing many shape case. So we have a workaround to make editing faster. We can create a light duplicate of the mesh. This removes all shape case from the duplicate, improving performance during sculpting, then hide the original mesh and work exclusively on the duplicate. Once we are finished editing the duplicate, we will transfer the changes back to the original mesh. Select the duplicate object, 
then select the original edit object and click transfer basis coordinates. It transfers vertex coordinates from selected object to active object and hide the duplicate. Now don't rush to delete the duplicate as we may want to make further improvements later. Next, position the eyeballs. It is important to avoid deforming and rotating these objects. Simply move them into desired place in edit mode. Now we need to adjust the skeleton to fit the modified mesh. Click Fit Bones. And once the skeleton is adjusted, we can test the MetaHuman's animations. Initialize the runtime by clicking Initialize Control Rig. This simulates the MetaHuman rig logic used in Unreal Engine. Check the interior of the mouth where you might identify and fix issues that were not visible in the rest pose. At this stage, some expressions may look not perfect, but we will address those later. For now, the main goal is to focus on refining the base mesh, smooth distorted areas, refined teeth position, etc. If you used light duplicate for editing, make sure to use the transfer vertex positions to update the original mesh. Select duplicate objects, then select the original one with suffix final and click transfer basis coordinates. If significant changes were made to the mesh during previous step, it is important to readjust the skeleton to fit the modified mesh once more. This ensures that all major updates to the mesh are reflected in the skeleton. To do this, click Fit Bones one more time. If you see issues like incomplete eye blinks, misaligned lips, MetaForge 1.2 introduces really powerful tools for refining facial expressions. Find necessary expression and modify it. Then press enter to apply.
Also, you may mirror expression to the other side of the face and polish its corrective shape key for a smoother result. These tools are really cool and I will cover them in detail in a separate tutorial. So, stay tuned. When skin, teeth and eyeballs looks good, we need to align minor meshes such as the eyeshells, eyelashes, cartilage and other small elements. And in Metareforge, this can be done in a semi-automatic way using the Align Minor Meshes tool. Clicking this button will align the most of the meshes accurately, but there is often a minor issue with the eyeshells that requires some manual refinement. To fix this, I use the Draw School brush with very low influence and, and carefully bulge the eyeshells until they no longer overlap with the eyeballs. Now you may see that loads which actually will be exported to Unreal Engine are not changed yet. So it is time to transfer the deformations we made to them. So click Update Original in Metreforge panel, then click Synchronize to apply the changes from the Edit Objects to the Loads. The lowest load usually looks good, but higher loads may have minor transfer artifacts. If you plan to use higher loads in your project, be sure to inspect all of them carefully, paying particular attention to the area around the lips. To better identify potential issues, I recommend moving the jaw bones down slightly to open the mouth. Common issues like small picks in the lip area can be smoothed using the smooth brush. Finally, let's address the seams between the head and body. If normals on seam vertices pointing in different directions, it will create visible lines where the two parts meet. Go to the Recompute Normals section and click Recompute Split Normals. And that's much better. Export the updated FBX and DNA files. In the next video, I will show you how to set up the modified MetaHuman in Unreal Engine. For now, thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, see you next time.